Good day everyone. So we are now in chapter 5, the introduction to algebra. Let's discuss first lesson 1, the continuous and repeating patterns. So in this lesson, we will determine the missing term in a given continuous and repeating pattern. And also to determine the missing term in a given combination of continuous and repeating patterns. Okay? So, question, what comes to your mind when you hear the word pattern class? Pattern. That's right. Okay? A pattern is formed when things such as color, shapes, numbers, letters, and etc. are repeated and it follows a rule. Okay? Example, we have A, Z, A, Z, A, Z. So what comes next? Okay, as you can see, the patterns uses letters A and A and Z. And as we observe, these are letters repeated alternately in the pattern. Okay, thus, we can conclude that from this pattern, the next term will be letter. What letter? Letter A. Yes, that's right. So, letter A. So, this is an example of repeated pattern. Okay? Example, we have example number 2. 3C6. F, 9, I, and 12. The question is, what's next after 12? Okay? As you can see, the pattern uses numbers and letters. Okay? Let's observe the given patterns. Okay? As you can see, in the number, they add up 3 to get the next term. No? Example, 3 plus 3, we get 6. 6 plus 3, we get 9. 9 plus 3, we get 12. For the letters, we will add still 3 positions to find the next term or letter. So we have C. What's next with letter C? D, E, F. Okay, that's 3. Next, G, H, I. So we have I. So our next term after 12 is? Is what? Letter? Okay, so we have letter L. J, K, L. So we have L is our next term after 12. Okay? Okay? We have here example number 3. Okay? Kindly observe the given patterns and find the missing pattern. Okay? So first, we have the shaded mark or there is this circle mark in the upper right of the box. The second one, we have the bottom, uh, bottom left. Yes? The third, we have the bottom right fourth we have the upper left the fifth we have the upper right so find the missing and that is that would be where's the circle in the upper or lower? In the lower. Lower left of the box. No, so as you can see, the pattern is this one. Okay? So just like that. Okay? Next we have example number four. We have a sequence given 2, 9, 23, 51, and what is the next? of 21 i mean 51 okay 
we will first find the difference between each term. Okay? By simply subtracting second to the first, third minus the second term, fourth minus third term. Okay? So we have here, 9 minus 2, we get 7. 23 minus 9, we get 14. 51 minus 23, that is 28. As you can see, the difference is multiplied by 2 to get the next term. Okay? If we're going to multiply by 2, 7 times 2, that's 14. 14 times 2, that's 28. Okay? To get the next term, after 51, we will multiply 28 by 2 and add it to the previous term, which is 51. Okay? 28 times 2, that is 56. Plus 51, so that is now our next term. So that is... 107 Okay, that's 107 Question? Okay, so let's move to lesson 2. We have the number sentence When we say number sentence is a statement that shows the relationship between two or more values Example, let's consider this table. So the first column, we have the city. The second one, we have the distance from Quezon City. Okay? So the distance from Quezon City to Caloocan, we have 14 kilometers. And the distance from Quezon City to Pasig, we have 17 kilometers. Our task now is to make a number sentence. So the question is, from Quezon City, how much farther is Pasig City than Caloocan City? Okay? By using the question, we can now create a number sentence. Okay? By simply subtracting the two given distance. So we have 17 minus 14 is equal to x or the unknown numbers so this is now our number sentence if we are going to solve this one of course we'll just simply subtract so we will get three so the answer is three kilometers is farther of the passage rather than the Caloocan city okay we have here another example. Write the number sentence, then solve. Okay, we have number one. Eight is the quotient of n divided by six. So we have here, eight is the answer, right? The quotient that is equal to n divided by six. Now, so this is now our number sentence. After this one, we will solve or find the value of the unknown number, which is n. Okay? So we all know that the inverse operation of multiplication, I mean the division is the multiplication. So we can rewrite this one. Quotient times the divisor is equal to the dividend. For this one, our divide quotient is 8. So we have quotient. Now so we can rewrite this one, 8 times the divisor we have 6 is equal to n 8 times 6 that is 48 therefore our n is equal to 48 okay so we have here example number 2 find the missing value in the number sentence so the given is 9 plus n is equal to n times 4 okay how to do that okay so let's rewrite n times 4 into 4n. Okay? So we have here 9 plus n is equal to 4n. After, transpose or by simply 
add both sides by negative n or by simply transpose the variable to the other side. Okay, we have here 9 is equal to 4 n positive that becomes negative, so we have negative n. Okay, in algebra, so we will subtract the coefficient value. So we have 4 minus 1, so we get 3. We just copy the variable n. After copy 9 and divide both sides by 3, cancel, cancel. And so our n now is 3. Are we clear? Are we clear? Okay, that's good. Thank you so much for listening. I hope you learned something today. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.